Hi, I'm Rob Dom. Go to omaze.com slash Rob Dom for your chance to win a C8 Corvette. The video you're about to watch was filmed more than a month ago, and it's important because I was waiting to see if General Motors would change their position on how they handle crashed C8 parts. They didn't. What you're about to see was absolutely necessary. That said, from a dealership all the way in Maryland, I wanna thank him very much for selling me a lot of the parts needed to restore the car. Meets back on the menu, boys. That said, there are two parts that cannot be sold by any dealership whatsoever. You have to be a Cadillac Aluminum Repair Network. You have to be a part of Karn. <laughs> Karn. Not even dealerships are part of this. It's a very select handful of body shops meant to repair the chassis on aluminum vehicles. Thankfully, the core of the chassis is fine. It's the two front ramming pieces that I cannot get. Josh, if you're out there watching this video, this whole video series is dedicated to you because there's no way I would have been able to do what I'm doing without you. And you sent me this sick ass hat. This being the closest to buying a brand new car. I mean, the car has 220 miles on it. It's too kind of you to send me a book that feels like an owner's book. I've never bought a new car in my life. But, so you made my day sending me all of this. And while I have all of the spare parts that are very much trashed, he's gonna be helping me get a lot of the good ones, except for those two. If you're wondering what mine looks like from the car, we'll go ahead and set that right there. <laughs> That's what mine uh, looks like. Well, three out of the four pieces, the fourth piece is actually missing. You know what's better than 75% of a C8 Corvette? One hundred percent of a C8 Corvette. It wasn't until I started digging into this Z51 did I realize how amazing of a car it actually is. I've partnered with Omaze for your chance to win a complete Z51 C8 Corvette. No assembly required. Not only do you win the car, taxes and shipping are included, and you get twenty thousand dollars to spend however you want. If it was me, I'd spend it on the rest of my car. But in your case, I'd suggest gas and insurance because. Once you break this car in, going more than 500 miles, she opens up even more. By entering to win, you also support the UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Center, helping them expand their ambulance program. Oh, that sounds so good. Look at that, the four-rotor behind you. Watch what happens when I press this button. The Z51 has the Z mode, which also opens up the exhaust just that little bit more. You can also see the Z51 has an electronic limited slip differential rear end for more traction when you're going through all of your turns and all of that, putting power to the ground. To potentially win a C8 Corvette with the Z51 package, $20,000 in cash, and to support the UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Center, go to omaze.com slash robdom. I really do think that I can make a lot of progress on the frame damage on this car with a little bit of leverage and a little bit of ingenuity. Here's my plan. That bend there, that bend there, which is the worst of all three, and then this damage here. This one seems like the easiest one. It's crinkled, it's not close to the bonding material, it's not close to the screws. This gives us material to then ultimately plate and weld this back together. This side, unfortunately, is not that easy. It is right at the bonding material, it is right at the screws, so it doesn't give us a lip to then weld a plate onto, but it does give us this side right here, which is clean, and it'll give us the correct length of this piece as we go to bend it back. This is the third area, and this one provides some weird problems. This is potentially gonna be just a cut and re-weld, from all of these different spots. This piece got pushed in pretty hard and it is also out that way. This one on the other hand, it's missing its nut inserts, but it is correct for the most part. The easiest strategy I see is undoing that bend and I really believe this is going to shatter. I don't care what type of aluminum, what alloy of it is, that is compromised. Worse yet, it's so compromised right there, let's zoom in, you can actually see it's, it's cracked inside of there, past the paint and all that. So I have a feeling I'm gonna cut this material out because it's just not trustworthy. I'm not gonna cut it out yet because I want it to hold together as we're pulling this piece out. If you trace that line all the back, you get to this strong corner 
right here on the chassis. So I think I'm going to take a ram and ram that to right here. For this action, I brought my little ram kit from Harbor Freight, but from Michigan for this. I'd use this same kit on the three rotor after I spun out the rain. We've got the ability to open things up and we've got the ability to push things apart. Set something in here to keep it clean and then put it right on the back side of this and see what happens. So we'll just do something like this. Put it in the hole right here. Actually, this one's damaged, so and it, and it ends up holding onto that spot right there. Okay, well, that, that actually started moving that one this way. Yeah, you can see this whole thing's already bending. Yeah, this actually should be, hopefully, easier than I'm expecting. This is just a hydraulic ram. <laughs> it's really straightforward. That's the ram part right there. It's gonna mar it up a little bit. So here's what I'm thinking. Put that piece on the, this side and then let it sit like that. And then we want this piece to go over there. So we'll put this on like that. Put this little thing on. And there's our weapon of choice. Test this. Something should start moving. Oh, I gotta tighten this. Oh, there we go. So that's done. We're gonna go ahead and use the airbag itself. Even though it looks like, okay, this is a backwoods thing, and it is, it's not a professional setup. Honestly, the, the risk is low. These parts are broken. Let's see if we can fix it. So I'm gonna try this spot right here. I doubt this is gonna get better. That is going to rip. Let's go ahead and move it. Oh my God, that was that easy. One first pump. Look at that. Gotta love aluminum. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do two or three more and just take a look at the metal. Again, I'm watching the really important parts that I expect tears to come from. The whole thing's just moving back into place. Yeah, that's, that's definitely gonna continue to get worse. This one looks pr pretty promising. How's it looking overall? Again, these are not under, you see? That one's under more stress on the bottom one, but they're really not under that much tension. Whatever this paint is, unless it's like a ceramic coating, this stuff's actually uh, really impressive. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna crack right in that spot too. That's cracking open more. Even if this isn't helping, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. Man, what progress. One of my indications is this coming back down. Sure, oh my God, it really is. That is so promising. This isn't gonna let the thing come out further, you know what I mean? Like that's a straight piece. So as soon as it can stop going this way, it's gonna bring it out this way. So this will be very fixed. I must have to put the extension on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this back. And you can see the whole thing's moving back, but not quite. Shows you how much 
all moved. This is all salvageable. Most of this, again, we'll plate it. I do suspect I might hear a big pop when something lets go. That's gonna happen. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. And just as I said, that popped. <laughs> scared the shit out of me though. That one's ripped open. How oh, cool. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, I went through it. God damn it. Of course, that's what I get for using a point. Quite a considerable improvement. And we have the same structural situation. It's not like I made it worse. It's just that I faced the music and saw what we had to do. But wow, that's a very promising situation. We already know that that section right there is bad. So we have to cut that area out. That gives me access to this area right here that's folded in like that. Once I straighten that using the best angles possible, that'll straighten both sides. Both sides then create the correct length of piece. By cutting that section out, I'm gonna be able to take square straight metal here and then clamp from the back side and use all that leverage to straighten it on itself. So I have two Diablo covers. This one is gonna go to good use. I knew that I was an adult the moment I thought about covering something and doing actual prep work before cutting. There. At least my patient now is not going to get tons of metal all over this. Aluminum doesn't make sparks, which is kind of funny. going in there. Yeah, that just shatters. It's got to be like 6,000 series. So it is now daylight. <laughs> Pull and all night are getting so obsessed with this. The next door neighbors are in working, wondering why I'm pounding away at this. My GoPro died on me while I was doing this, but I bent this down just a little bit and it helped bring this piece down right to where it was bonded. I want to put the fender back on and see how close we are to passable. I kind of dig this little thing down here. That is really promising because that means it's sitting too low. Pretty close, actually really close. That is super exciting. That's probably better than GM Fitment. <laughs> the lift, the front lift is on the car. It keeps turning on by itself. There's something weird going on, but oh my God. That is the beginning of it all guys. Everything's straight there. I Now that I have that piece correct, we can start making measurements for that one and then start cutting sections out of that one, plating it and doing all that. Hi, it's me again, Rob Dom. Go to omaze.com slash Rob Dom for your chance to win a C8 Corvette.